In this video, we are going to use the alignment creation tools and create an alignment with all the little bits and pieces instead of drawing it from a polyline as we did in the previous video. So under the alignments dropdown, we're gonna create an alignment by a layout. Alternatively, you could go through the ribbon as well, alignment creation tools, create alignment by layout, and we're just gonna name this one layout. Again, no site, we'll leave it on that style, the alignment label set, and if you notice, it doesn't ask us to erase existing entities or add the curves between our alignments. I will start this one at 4,000 as well. I'm gonna hit okay, and up pops our alignment layout tools dialog box, which gives us a number of handy options. The very first option is probably by far the easiest and quickest and simplest. We can draw tangent to tangent with no curve. So it's basically like sketching a polyline. We can draw tangent to tangent with curves, click, 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 click. And it just strings it all together. And then we have a button at the bottom here, curve and spiral settings. We can choose what kind of curve we want. And do we want regular curve? So just a simple fillet, a simple curve. Or do we want to spiral into that curve and spiral out of that curve, which the spirals are, are used more in highway design. This unfortunately only gives you the one option for the curve. So we could draw the alignment with any number of PIs and it will only apply that one curve to that, which in highway design isn't always feasible because sometimes we have larger corners, sometimes we have smaller corners. So use this if you need to, to run your alignment quickly. You can always change it later. So again, if we just draw tangent to tangent with no curves, like I said, it's a simple click, click, click. And then tangent to tangent with curves. I don't, yeah, I didn't turn any of the curve options on. So we'll just do that. And if I run that command, oop, that should get rid of it. There we go. So tangent to tangent with curves. And as we see it as those curves in. Now the commands that we actually want to use are mainly under this drop down here. So we can do fixed lines between two points or we can do floating lines, which connect to another entity and the curve settings here, fixed curves or floating curves. And then we have, we do have some spiral options in here if you know all your spiral information. So we're going to start by drawing a fixed line, two points. So if we wanna draw this by hand manually, we might get more options, we might get less options. However, I'm gonna draw a line from here to there, we'll say, and hit enter. So all I've drawn is a simple line, starts at 4,000, goes to 4,700, because this one ends at 3,800. And then I'm gonna use a floating curve. So we can go from entry with a radius through a different point, if we know where the point is. We have different floating curves from, enti from entity end through point, from entity end radius and length, from entity through point and a direction at a point, floating curve best fit, fixed curves if we want. We're gonna do from, we'll do from entity end radius and a length. So I'm gonna select this entity, Civil 3D assets, the entity you attach it to. It wants to know if we're gonna turn clockwise or counterclockwise. So are we gonna turn right or left? Let's do clockwise. It wants to know the radius of the curve. Let's just say 450 and the curve length, uh, 150 meters. And then we're gonna hit enter again. So we've added 150 meter long, 450 meter radius curve to this. Let's go and add another floating line from curve end, and then we'll add a length to it. So I want to attach my entity to here and my length, uh, we'll do 560 meters. I'm just making these numbers up. Now, if I click on this, we see there's no PI point on this alignment. So let's do another one of these uh, floating curves from entity end through point. So I'm gonna select this entity end 
And then wherever I happen to put this, we don't get an option for the radius. It just allows us to put it through a point. So this could be any radius. And obviously the closer we go to it, the tighter the radius is gonna be. It will, however, keep a tangent to this other circle. So I'm gonna select, yeah, we'll make this one go up. We'll do almost a 90 degree corner. And then I'm gonna do a fixed line or floating line from curve through a point. So we can see where, as I drag this around. So I wanna go from the end of this curve. And as I move that point, we see that curve actually will adjust itself. So say I drew it up here, but actually I want the road to go over here. It will shorten that curve. Or I drew it here, but I actually want the road to make more of a 180 degree turn here and go, come backwards on itself. So that curve will adjust itself based on where I click. So we've drawn this alignment and as we see, depending on the various alignments and how we've drawn them, we get more or less grips. So this one, a lot of this is constrained. This one, we don't get nearly as many options. Except, so different, depending on the way you've drawn this alignment will, will depend on how you actually edit this. And that's what we're gonna do in our next video is edit some of these alignments.